Welcome to JJ's Cookbook. We all love puddings. Well, I have uh, decided to show you a pudding which is made of Nutella and we all love Nutella. Nutella is a chocolate hazelnut spread which is very, very famous uh, out here. In fact, uh, it's one of the most famous um, chocolate spreads and it's usually spread on uh, bread or something and ha had for breakfast. Now, this, these are made, or this uh, actual spread is made of hazelnuts and uh, chocolate. Hazelnuts are actually very, very good for you. They're full of vitamin E and absolutely um, rich with antioxidants. And uh, this has got a whole lot of hazelnuts. Now, I thought of, since Nutella is a very, very, very popular spread, chocolate spread, I thought of uh, making a pudding with Nutella. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to show you. It's very, and it's also very, very, very simple. It's not, you don't have to, um, you know, you don't need a whole lot of things and you're not, you don't need to do a whole lot of procedures to actually get the pudding. It's very, very simple. No steaming, um, you know, no gelling up, nothing like that. It's very simple. And uh, that's what, uh, those are the recipes I usually like. Very simple and easy uh, recipes because our life itself is very, very hectic. So um, I thought of uh, showing you a very, very simple uh, pudding. In fact, if you've got a jar of Nutella in your house and some milk, you can whip it up right now. I'm sure you'll all enjoy it chilled or you can actually make it as a fondue too. So let's see how we're going to make it, okay? Now for a Nutella pudding, what we have to do, we need um, around two cups of liquid milk. Okay, now either you can add just two cups of milk or you can add, uh, like what I've done right now is, I'm heating um, one cup of milk uh, with, well, a little more. Okay, and then what I need is, Actually, we need two cups of milk. What I'm going to do is um, add one and a half cup of milk here. And uh, I'm going to grind around 50 grams of uh, almonds, which has been blanched and the skin has been removed. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind this <coughs> so that uh, both this and this together will make up uh, two cups of liquid okay so if you don't want to use uh, almonds okay one has the skin on if you don't want to use uh, the almonds then you can actually use the two cups of milk Excuse the noise, it's really noisy. Okay. Now add a little bit of milk for it to get into a real good paste. So in effect what we want is actually uh, 50 grams of uh, almond milk. That's what we are with. Almond milk made of 50 grams of almonds. Now, if you don't have almonds, then you can use cashew nuts. Um, either, everything is the same. The only thing you have to be very careful about is that you need uh, two cups of milk. Okay, two cups of liquid in uh, here. Now, as soon as We've ground our almonds, that is 50 grams of almonds or cashews. You can use cashews or almonds. Now, if you use, when you use cashews, um, you don't have to blanch it like almonds. Here, I've blanched uh, the almonds to take out the skin and uh, so that it can be ground much more easily. So here, I'm going to whisk in the, the almonds. Okay, this actually thickens and gives a good texture. Mm, nice. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Now, what I have to do is put in half a cup of Nutella. Half a cup. Half a cup or six to seven tablespoons will be kind of, you know, the right amount. Mm, lovely. Now, the more Nutella, Nutella you put, uh, the less sugar if at all you want sometimes i don't put sugar at all and make sure <clears throat> you whisk it with a whisk because it's much easier that way and it dissolves much faster and keep this on low heat okay we have all our, we shouldn't waste anything of this gorgeous mixture. Shouldn't waste any of this lovely, yummy mixture. Now, to this we add, that is, well, it's very optional. Um, you add around two teaspoons of um, cocoa powder. Okay, this is optional. Uh, if you want it lovely and dark, then, um, you know, adding a little bit of cocoa powder is really good. That is, uh, I put one or two teaspoons is more than enough. Try uh, one first, and then you can add if you want more. So keep on. Now you can notice because I'm using this whisk, it's dissolving very, very fast. Very easy. Now at this stage, you can put or add your sugar. Taste and see. If you find that it's uh, you don't need any sugar, don't add. If you want to, you can add sugar. It all depends upon uh, you know how you like it. Okay, add a little bit more cocoa because I like it dark. And um, we need a ladle now because everything is mixed. All we have to do is, you know, cook it really well on top of the stove. don't want to waste this so I'm going to add a little bit here okay. my children will love this pudding because you know children love Nutella so this pudding is it's all very easy to make so you know you can whip it up very fast when they when they're at school you can uh, make this and put it in the fridge. When they come home, you're ready to give it to them. It doesn't contain any artificial things. Actually, I should, I should actually ask the Nutella company for a, convers uh, for a compensation because I'm actually, I've actually made a recipe out of it, out of their product. Okay. Mm, lovely. The smell is awesome. Now, while that's cooking, we need to thicken this. And uh, I'm going to use um, some corn flour. Uh, for this amount, we need, well, around four teaspoons, sorry, four tablespoons of corn flour, okay? Four level tablespoons of corn flour. Now keep this on very, very low heat. And when it boils, OK, 
okay, you actually add corn flour. So we've got uh, four tablespoons of corn flour. We add a little bit of water, not too much, just to get it a paste. And we add it to uh, the Nutella mixture to make it a pudding consistency. Now, if it's for a fondue, uh, you just need three tablespoons. But for a pudding, you'll need four tablespoons. Now, this will get uh, thick, okay? It will start getting thick. Keep on stirring it, otherwise, you know, it can, you know, become a huge, big glob, glob, a big mess. So now it's kind of thick, it's getting thicker and thicker. Keep on stirring it. Remember, uh, the consistency of uh, the actual pudding depends upon the corn flour and if you've used uh, almonds or cashew nuts. Okay, keep on stirring it till you get a nice pudding consistency. Now this will thicken and it will darken once you put it in the refrigerator. Okay, it may look light now but it will thicken and it will darken as soon as you put it in the refrigerator. Now sugar is all according to one's own desire. Now once this is reached, okay, this consistency is reached, what you have to do is cool it at room temperature. Cool it uh, till it reaches room temperature, then transfer it into um, any sort of uh, bowl, serving bowl or anything you actually want to serve in and uh, chill it very well. Then it sets and thickens even more. Now <clears throat> this is ready. The last ingredient but the least is a little bit um, around half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now this is optional. If you want you can put. If you don't want it you can avoid it. Okay. Now let this come to uh, room temperature. It has to cool down at room temperature. Once it's cooled down and all the heat is gone, uh, now you can see the consistency is kind of, well, li liquidy. This will keep on thickening and it will keep on setting. So once you put it in the fridge, it will keep on setting and it will become nice and dark, exactly what how you uh, a pudding supposed to be. So once this is done, um, or once it's cool, we're going to transfer this. Now the pudding has cool very well at room temperature. Now all I have to do is transfer it into either individual bowls or one big bowl, okay, however you plan to serve it or however you plan to consume it. Um, let it, um, you know, transfer it and then let it chill inside the refrigerator very well. And as it chills, it's going to keep on setting. And as it chills, it's going to keep on setting. It's going to keep on setting. Mm, lovely. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Now, like I said, when you put it in the refrigerator, this is going to keep on setting. Okay. Now, once it's in the refrigerator, as I said, it will set really well. Then you can take it out and garnish it and decorate it as however you want. Um, so now this is, you know, look at this wiggly. Um, all we have to do is we can transfer this, these two, into the refrigerator and let it really chill well. Now it's been around 15 minutes and I have let the 
pudding actually really really uh, chill up and uh, unless you really chill it uh, you won't be able to taste its beautiful flavor the smoothness of the thing otherwise um, you could well um, make it as a fondue like I said before let's see how it's done huh? yes it's see it's actually gelled up well okay now all you need to do is actually you can um, you know um, transfer it into little little pots and keep it in the fridge and those who want it um, you know you can just take a bowl out and eat it individually otherwise you can put it in one full thing and then you scoop it out it all depends upon exactly how you really want okay so I'm just going to uh, put a little cherry on top see it's nice and set that's the beauty of it and I haven't used gelatin or anything but it's really set and I'm going to put some white chocolate chips I would have put um, chocolate white stra chocolate strands but I didn't have them in my stock so I thought of decorating them with this white chocolate chips you could also use um, black, I mean, sorry, dark chocolate uh, strands too. It all depends upon what you really want. My Nutella pudding is done. Okay, it's decorated with white chocolate chips and a cherry. It can be decorated any way you want. Okay, now you go make your cho chocolate pudding or your Nutella pudding. I'm going to eat mine because I know it's going to be delicious. So go ahead. I'm going to eat mine.